Evaluating the viability of a smartphone-based annotation tool for faster and accurate image labeling for AI in diabetic retinopathy. We initially began by asking doctors to annotate images using online platforms but faced some of the following issues. Volume of the data increased over time, less portability because of desktop sites, long image loading time due to weak internet connections, ever-changing disease schema, and as we kept on receiving some new data from hospitals, we could not upload it to these tools as it may violate patient data privacy laws. This led us to develop our own in-house image annotation tool. As seen in the video, adding an annotation for an image is pretty easy. View the image, magnify it, change the brightness, change the contrast as needed, click on the relevant options, choose extra details and the annotation is saved. The analytics on the landing page show the pending and completed images. The graph shows the maximum number of images tagged by other users in real time and gives a daily target setting. These imaging datasets are generally in the range of thousands and can be overwhelming for a single person. So we chunked them into sets, each containing thousand images or less, which a grader can complete within two weeks. The issues mentioned earlier were resolved as follows. For faster image loading, we resize images into smaller size thumbnails with smaller memory footprint while still maintaining the visual quality. We leverage the asynchronous capabilities of the browser and don't load just one but three images preemptively so the grader does not need to wait for the next image to load. The initial interface was basic and evolved based on the grader feedback. It's now designed on a decision tree structure to render the nested subclassifications and extra options. Finally, on the developer's end, we managed to dockerize the entire application and deploy it using the Kubernetes platform. We have seen a total behavioral change where on the online tools, the graders used to work only on the weekends, but on our tool, we have logged usage on all days of the week and in almost all hours of the day. Average time taken to label a single image reduced substantially. We validated the AI algorithms developed using annotations on this tool on some new testing datasets and found them to have really high performance scores. This strengthens our hypothesis that this tool serves no different than a desktop-based tool with the added benefits of being portable and flexible. We wish to introduce more gamification, label optimization, and even use it for telemedicine. With some minor tweaks, this tool can be easily adapted to work for other domains as well, such as anterior segment telemedicine, radiology, dermatology, etc. Thank you.